What's going on guys? Let's try this problem right here. This question is asking a fish looking straight up toward the smooth surface of a pond receives a cone of rays and sees a circle of light filled with the images of sky and birds and whatever else is up there. This bright is circular field is this bright circular field is surrounded by darkness. Explain what is happening and compute the cone angle. Let's draw a diagram for this one, right? So first uh, we are going to have a glancing angle. So let's say this is our pond and water. So this is our glancing angle. So the angle that is making with the normal is going to be the glancing angle, right? So this is, let's call this one theta g. And glancing angle will be transmitted in the critical angle. So we are going to have a critical angle right here and let's say this is fish and this is also theta c so if this is if this is theta c this one also theta c right this one also theta c because we have z z and it's parallel theta c or if this is theta c this is also theta c the question is asking to find this cone shape this is our fish and the question is asking to find out this cone shape the total angle so that's going to be 2 theta c here what we have to do is first we can find the theta c critical angle and then we can find our 2 theta c right now let's go ahead and find critical angle and we know that uh, critical angle is going to be 1 over whatever the medium we have so we are here, I mean sine theta c is going to be 1 over theta c actually 1 over index of refraction of this one so this one is 1 over nw this medium is water so this is going to be nw here we are trying to find theta c therefore theta c is going to be sine inverse 1 over nw and index of refraction of water is 1.33 so we can put that one right here 1.33 and if you calculate this one you will get 49 degree so this is our theta c here they are asking to find the total angle of this cone shape so that's going to be 2 theta c 2 theta c is going to be 98 degree right 98 degree and that's it that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful, see you next time.